So we finished the home page, and in this video, we're going to check out how to set up the routes. Because when we click on the movie, we want that one to show the component for the individual movie. So go back inside of the code, and we're going to be working in the app.svelte for now. So that one is outside in the root of the SRC. So that's the app.svelte component. And we already installed the library for our routing system, and I choose uh, the library page.js. It's very lightweight, and there's a few options for you to use when you create routes with Svelte. In our case, we're just going to create three routes. We're going to have the home page and one for the movies, and also one for the not found page. So I thought that this little library was uh, pretty easy to use, actually, and set up the routes. And a lot of people are using it with Svelte, so that's why I choose this one. But you can check out, if you do some Googling and stuff like that, you will see that there's, there's some routing libraries for Svelte that you can use if you have more advanced routing systems. All right, so the first thing we have to do is to import router from page. That's all that we have to import. And that's, of course, is in the script tag. And down below here, we can import two more components that we're going to need. We're going to import movie from dot forward slash pages and we have movie.svelte yet again be very careful so that you include the file extension and then we have to import not found from dot forward slash pages not found dot svelte like that that's all the components that we need then we're going to create two variables let page and let params. And we're going to use these in a second. So we're going to set up three different routes now. And as we import this router up here, we can use that one. So we set up a route, router. You call this router that we import. And the first argument is going to be the route that we want to set up. And it's a string. In this case, it's just forward slash because it's going to be the home page. And then we provide it with a function that will trigger when we're on this route. So I create an inline arrow function, and I'm going to set the page to equal home. So we have the page here. So when we're at this route, I set the page to be the home component. So in these variables, we can also store the components. So that's very handy. OK, so that's the route for the home page. Then we set up the route for the individual movie. And in this one, we want to include the ID for the movie. So it's going to be a little bit special here I'm going to show you. So router, the first one is going to be the route. It's going to be forward slash movie forward slash. And when we set up a route param in this library, we use colon and what we want to call it. And in our case, we want to call it ID because that's the movie ID. So this will make it possible for us to grab this ID in our component. So you could have just named it uh, anything here. It doesn't matter what you name it. So it's up to you what you want to name this route param. OK, so that's the route. Then we have an inline function again. And this inline function is going to be called by the router with the context. So we grab the context and also something that's called next that tells it to move on. It's kind of like a middleware where we execute next to go on in the chain. OK, so we have the inline function like this. And we have this params variable here. So params is going to equal from the context. And we grab the params. And that's, of course, the one that we create here. So we put this one in our params variable. Very, very simple, actually. It may seem a little bit confusing, but if you think about it, it's really simple. We're just assigning values to different variables that we create here. And we can use those values later. So that's the function that is going to take care of the params. And then we have the function for the component, just as we had up here. So we have another inline function. And we set the page to equal movie for this one. And the last route is going to be the not found route. So yet again, we call router with the route of forward slash. And it's going to trigger this one on every other route except these two. So we set an asterisk on this one comma, and then we give it the inline function, and we set the page to equal not found. Something like that, and we can auto-format it, and it will, yeah, it will mess everything up for me, but I think this is, is okay, actually. Yeah, I think it looks better. 
So these are the routes. I think the tricky one is the one here where we send in the params. So if this seems a little bit difficult, go through it a couple of times and hopefully you'll understand the flow on this one. All right, so that's our route, but we have to start the router also. So from router, we call start. And this is everything we need to do to set up the routes in a Svelte application when we use the page.js. And I think this actually is super, super clean. I think this is super, super easy and it's very little code to do stuff like this. Uh, so that's, I'm very happy with that one. But how do we change the components depending on the route that we're on? Because now we're just showing the home here and that's no good. And Svelte has something we can use to display components dynamically. So if we create a new tag here, Svelte colon component, and this one takes in this prop and we give it the page. As you know from up here, we are changing the page to contain the component matching the route we're on. So this one is going to change depending on the route we're on and display that component. And also we want to give it the params. So we do that with curly brackets and type out params. And then we self-close it. And that's everything we need to do to set up the routing in this component. And I must say it's pretty simple actually. It's not many rows of code to set up a routing system for your application. There is one more thing we have to do before this will work. And that is we have to change something in our package.json file. So make sure that you navigate inside the package.json. And here where we have the scripts, the start script, serve public. We have to add a flag dash dash single. And this will tell it that it's a single page application. Otherwise it won't work. It won't route correctly. So flag that with dash dash single. If you're running your dev server, make sure to break it just to be sure and run it again. npm run dev. Then go back inside of our application in the browser, reload it. And you can see we got this message in the console here that telling us that the home was created with an unknown prop params. And that's because we're not using the params on the home page, but we're setting them here in our code. If we go back to the app.svelte, you can see when we do this, it will send in the params and it will complain. And this is actually fine. It's just in the development. It, it won't affect the application in any way but I will show you a way in a few seconds where we can modify the code a little bit so that we don't have this message in our console if we want to do that. It's a little bit more code, but it's not that much. So yeah, we'll look at it in a second, but first we want to check out the route. So if we click here somewhere, you can see that our movie component is showing and it's complaining now also because we're not using the params, but we are going to use them in this component later. And also we want to make sure that it works if we just type in some strange stuff here that don't exist and make sure that it shows our components for that. And it works just fine. So that's super great. I'm really happy with this. Okay, so if we don't want this console log, we can do it like this instead. So go back inside of the app.svelte component and you can comment out this one. And instead of using this dynamic component with Svelte, we can create if statements. So we have a hash sign if page equals to home, like this. We show the home component, home. And then, as you can see here, we're not sending in any params. So that's why we won't get that console message. We end it with a forward slash if, like that. Then we can just copy this one, paste it in two more times. If page equals to movie, We show the movie component and we give it the params like that. And if page equals to not found, we just show the not found without the params. So this is how you can do it instead if you don't want to use this one liner with this dynamic component that Svelte provide you. Save it, go back to the application. And as you can see here, we don't have this console message anymore. But it's working, the routes are working, and here it complains because we are going to use them there, as I told you. We can just check also so that this one works, and it works. So there's two ways you can do it. I wouldn't uh, worry too much about that console message, actually. So I probably will go with this one-liner, 
but it's up to you to decide. All right, that's the routing. In the next video, we're going to start creating the movie page.